Hello everyone, I'm the Fudge3004. Welcome back to Craftopia. Thank you for coming to hang out with me. I always like having you here. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and let's get into some gaming. So we've done a lot of stuff. We've gone to a lot of places, and I thought that maybe we would do something maybe a little bit different today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on making some things for the base to see if we can make other things. And I was looking a little bit ago. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but I think I know what I'm going to do. So under the workbench, and I had to remind myself where it is, we have the potion brewing stand here and then we have the machine factory here I'm gonna gather these items we'll make the machine factory and we'll see what the heck we can do with this thing so it doesn't matter if you're in the improved workbench or the regular workbench they kind of both work the same and so I'm in the improved workbench just to see and it's exactly the same so that's good let's go ahead and make the machine factory let's craft that so we can see what the heck this is all about okay yeah I know you gotta pound it before you can put it out now let's go see I want to see how big it's gonna be first off and let's just come out to here let's put that on our bar this thing is going to be pretty massive. That much I can see. So we're going to have to find a pretty good place to put this. I prefer not being in the way of like the fishing and all that kind of stuff. Because I do kind of enjoy doing the fishing. Maybe we can stick it like up here or something. Just kind of out of the way so we don't have to you know, be as worried about it. If it will work up here it doesn't... I don't want to hang it over the edge. I don't like, you know, when games do that. I just think that kind of looks silly, so I'm not going to do that. Let's stick it right over here next to our market, but a little bit ways away. Okay, let's put that right there. Sweet. So I've... All right, what are you doing? Why are you being so floppy on me? Well, you sure are moving around a little bit, ain't you, buddy? Okay, so this is the machine factory. I've never made one of these, so I really don't know. Man, this thing is crooked. Holy moly. You know, I'm almost thinking that it might be worth it to put some flooring down there just to make it more level. Okay, let me go see about doing that. I will hold this guy, and I'm going to go get some flooring, and we'll put that down to make a nice even floor. Finally got a floor put down. Now let's go ahead and try to put this machine factory on there. Hoping it will sit a little bit better. That should help. Still a little crooked, but it isn't as bad as it was. Maybe it'll feel a little bit more solid this way. Okay, underneath the machine factory. Looks like there's all kinds of stuff. The heck? Parts of tank hole. Well, that's crazy. I don't know anything about that. Um, training projectile, multi-sling, shoot the items that you set, okay. Okay, there we go, that's all that. So we can't do a lot of this stuff right now because we don't have other parts. And as far as making rubber and stuff, I don't know, we have to go see. So it looks like we can actually make like a tank or something like that. Hot air balloon, there's a mono balloon. Okay, the fuel tank. Cotton canvas, but I don't know anything about that right now. We're going to have to go see about some things. Racing cars. There's not a lot to build, build underneath right here, so that's okay, too. Um, what was that armor plate? Wow, that takes a lot. Holy moly. All right. A mine cart. Okay. I saw that there were tracks, and I'll show you that here in just a quick minute. But let me look at this a raft. Most of the people who arrive at the uninhabited, at an uninhabited island will craft this vehicle in hope of escaping. This has been a traditional way to move across the ocean. Of course, you cannot move on the ground with it. Well, uh, that may kind of make sense. So we need a wooden box. That right there is actually pretty easy. I do believe I have some wooden boxes because I picked some up. And I'll show you in a minute also. So let me go show you in here. So there are some things in this crafting bench that I just don't know a lot of things about. And so I wanted to go see what there is because there was the tank stuff and as far as some of that stuff goes, so you can see like there's a cannon and that kind of stuff and 
I just don't know what we're going to make, like the cloth and all of that kind of stuff. Here's the fan, you know, all of these things. Here's the rail, and here's the rail. So the rail start, and then the rail. And I think this is for the mine cart, if I remember correct, if I know correctly, but I'm not 100% sure. And, of course, we can make cogwheels, and if we get some copper... We can make bolts, and then we can also make springs, and then we can make other things. So we're going to build some machines and just go see what the heck we can do with them. As far as the battery goes, that much I don't know how to make that right now. And I don't know what we need to be able to make a, a battery. So I don't know if we buy it or anything. Um, a refining scrap bench, so I am maybe a refinery, but we can't make that stuff yet either because we can't make scrap parts. We don't have any linen wool unless, so over here we have a armory and I thought that we had, I thought we had like a linen making machine. Okay, it looks like there is possibly linen making machine on it but I don't know it's kind of hard to tell oh cotton okay there's a cotton canvas again and I don't know where we make the cotton canvas so let me go do some research and see what the heck I can figure out here okay you just have to use the workbench to make things like the linen wool the um yes the linen wool which is what we need and there is paper there's also cotton canvas we do have rags so i'm going to gather the rags and sheep wool make some of this stuff and then we can begin making some other things and hopefully we'll get some good things going here because this has been a little bit of a challenge trying to figure it out because i really don't like to get delve into the depth of, the, of this game too much so we do have the pink fluffy wool but i think we just need the regular fluffy wool in fact there's some cotton canvas right there there are the old rags and let's go find the sheep wool wherever in the heck that is i know it's in one of these i just gotta find it let's go ahead and let's make some cotton canvas i'll do like 10 i don't remember what we need but i'll just go and do 10 and then in here, we will just go ahead and see about doing some of the linen. So there's some linen wool. Let's go ahead and do like 10 of these as well. So now we have that. That we're at least making some things so we know, you know, what we can do and what we have. This one's going to take a little bit longer. Let's go see about that raft and just go see what the heck that may do. Do. So again, I've never built anything in here. So this is a new thing for me and hopefully we'll be able to do something good. Oh, hoverboard. Okay, there's the hoverboard. Ooh, shark hoverboard, huh? Okay, cool. And I don't see a battery, so I'm not too sure exactly where we're going to do that. Well, I thought for sure that I... There we go. So, looks like we need old rags. Okay, well, we can do that really easy. And a wooden box. I was going to show you that too. Um, I th think I have some wooden boxes that I picked up. I just need to figure out where I put them. Because so I picked up a whole bunch of them. They were on the ground, and I was just out doing stuff. I don't know where I put them, but I put them somewhere here, so that way I had them. And I wanted to show you them as well. So here are those wooden boxes, and I'm just going to go ahead and take those. You can just pick those up, and then you can put them in your inventory, and then you can use them wherever you need to. I'm about to make quite a few rags now, so let's just go ahead and go down here. And let's go ahead and make, like, probably 20 more rags. So that way we can do that, and then we'll have enough stuff to be able to make that, or so I hope. Okay, now I have the 20 rags. Let's go over here. I had to pick up some wood and some other things. Now let's go see. I think. There we go. Sweet. So now we have the log, leather, rag, and wooden box. Let's go ahead and see about crafting this so we can actually maybe try this out. This would be pretty cool. It's in a, there's a hoverboard there too. So we got to figure out a way to make a battery somewhere.
While we wait for this thing to be made, um, I don't think it's in the blacksmith or anything, but I'll just take a quick look to see. Binoculars, okay. Cool, binoculars, how do you like that? You know what, let's go and make a pair of binoculars. We have not done anything at all like that, so I think that would be good to do too. And that only takes a quick second. Okay, so we did make a binocular drone for shooting. Looks like all kinds of other stuff here that I haven't ever seen. So the more stuff you open up, the more stuff you can do kind of thing. And I do like that. I think that's really cool. Whetstone, huh? Looks like it'll probably sharpen things. So we need some things. And yes, this is very interesting opening up new things. SMG bullets and stuff like that. We don't have any gunpowder or anything. We can't make gunpowder right now. But I'm sure eventually we will learn how to. All right. Well, let's go see if we can find out where to make the battery. I'm hoping it'll be done here soon. If we can find it. Okay, there. Freezing raft. Okay, that's interesting. I did not know there was a freezing raft. Um, let me go see. I don't believe it's going to be in the armory at all. Because that's just armor. Okay. And I don't know if we're actually going to find anything in this workbench to make a battery but I'm gonna look again and just make sure that we you know can't make a battery Ooh, ancient glider wow that looks pretty cool we have to look at something like that too because we've only made this one but we haven't made anything like this so we should try some new things so I may have overlooked something very very major I was looking on the Steam forums and it said to make the um, generator. And so I was like, okay, well, I've looked and I haven't seen the generator. And then it said something about a little wheel on the side. And I'm thinking, I've seen that somewhere. It is on the craft the machine factory but that isn't where I saw it at so I started looking deeper into here and there is a generator so we need a cog wheel let's go down here let's go make a cog wheel we only need one so let's go ahead and craft that okay now that we got that let's go back into here and let's go down here and there should be a generator that should open up so there's a generator right there producing electricity is essential for an event advanced civilization it uses advanced technology to convert rational motion into electrical energy i remember seeing the wheel right there and that's what sparked my interest is like okay and then i forgot so this is the generator let's go ahead and craft one okay now that we have that, now we can begin making other things, and I just totally forgot. So, one thing we're going to have to do is go see, okay, it's kind of big, and that's fine. We can always, you know, work, work with this. Let's place it over here, okay. Let's place it right there. Now, there is something that we need to do, so we're going to go over to here, and we are going to equip one of the things that we have, which should be up here. There's a monster prism. We're going to do that. But first, we need to... Let me go do number... I guess five would be good. That would help. We're going to take this guy down till he's almost gone. That took more than half of his life off. Okay, let's go to our hand and let's go okay now that we have that let's get this out and let's go throw it at him and let's go see if we can capture him okay cool there we go captured cow and now we take this captured cow and where did it go there it is we throw it at that there we go Ta-da! Now we're doing it. Yay! We did it. 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 After a lot of trying and trying. Okay. Ooh, hey, look, 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 look right up there. All right. 
It's making a battery. It's making a battery. Sweet, so we got a battery. We have the battery. We have two batteries. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, now we can make batteries. Yay! That's, I remember they said something about the battery. I was like, what the heck are they talking about? And then it's like, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Now we have lots of batteries. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I remember seeing that wheel and I was like, what's going on? Why am I not getting this? Now I know. Cool. All right. So, now that we got that, we, I'm not going to make a ho hoverboard, but we can now come into here and we can make something that we probably should have made a long time ago. We have everything that we need. We need one more battery and we need five cog wheels. Well, let's go make five cog wheels. We'll do that. We'll go, oops, we'll go get some more batteries because we're really close. There's four batteries in there. There we go. We have more than enough battery. We have eight batteries. Okay. That guy done cooked himself. Okay, there's not enough space to carry that, and that's perfectly fine. That means that that one's full. I'm going to go put stuff away. We'll gather that, and we'll put another one on. All right, we now have the cog wheels. We're going to put some, a cow on there in a minute. Let's go make one more thing before we actually stop, so that way we have that. So we have conveyor belts at a degree, and we also have... Okay, cool. That one's just regular. All right, cool. So we could have built one of these. That's awesome. So there's upward and downward and a regular conveyor belt. Let's just go ahead and make one of these. We'll craft. Okay, well, one meaning ten. And now let's go see if we can make. So we're going to need some more cog wheels. Let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and do two. We'll craft those. And we'll make a couple of more of the conveyor. So that way we have those and then we can begin hopefully doing something with all of this stuff that we're making. And make some very interesting things. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. We'll make one that goes up. Craft. Well, ten again. And then we're going to make one that goes down. So this should really help us get some more things going. That would be great. Let's go ahead and do this and craft. All right, so we'll make 10 minimum at a time, so that's good too. Now let's get over there. Let's go get this. So there's two milk. Um, come here, milk. There we go. Now we can get this cow. So let's just go and punch him. And we will knock him down he's almost gone let's put on another prism and let's throw it out there we go ta-da cool so now we have another cow and then we can put him on there how many batteries do we have in there okay it doesn't look like any right now so that's okay too let's just go ahead and put the cow on there and we'll throw him on there and there we go all right, yay! So I'm sh I'm assuming that if we use higher level, you know, creatures, okay, it is taking damage. All right, that's something to know. So now that I know, and it is kind of shocking the schnocky walkers out of them, and that's awesome. That will help. So we can actually just go get another cow. Sweet. Put on another prism. Asleep. Cool, so now we have another prism. And this cow is definitely taking damage, and that's alright too. Wonder if we take damage too. No, we do not. That's great. Whoa, hey, hey, we got knocked off there. That's awesome. Alright, so now I know what to do. That makes this a whole bunch easier. And of course, the cow is going to go bye bye here in a minute. And that's okay. As long as he can make some batteries for us, that's cool. 
now I have an idea of what I'm doing and that really helps out a lot. Take that off so we don't accidentally use it. We'll put our sword back on. And he's going to be kicking it here in just a quick minute. So we'll get this done and then we'll see about making some other stuff. And the cow should be biting it here momentarily. And there they went. Okay. So there's a lot of batteries more. Four more batteries. We have 19 all told. Cool. All right. Now, I do want to show you something that I have been looking at. So um, I'm going to make something in here in this machine factory. And what I would like to make is we have one, but I wanted to see about possibly making a hoverboard of our own. That way we can have that and or possibly even making some engine parts now engine parts are not really all that hard to come by we can make the ceramic really easy it's the rubber for the motorcycle that we need and we have a motorcycle but we can make another motorcycle really easy now this guy is going to be harder to do but it would be good to make something like this. So what I have done is I have made some of these scrap parts. And I'll show you that real quick. So let's go ahead and go see about doing that. So I'll go in here and then I'll show you something else that we can do as well. Oh, and one thing too, you notice you have the improved workbench and the workbench. So I found out that this one will make things slower than this one. This is just a little bit quicker workbench. That's the only difference. So I did not know what the difference was, but now I do. Okay, so we have down here, we have scrap parts. Iron ink, five iron ingots, five bolts, and five springs. And I've already made four of them, like I said. So I wanted to make some other stuff. And, huh, abrasives, huh? That's cool. So let's just go ahead and make another part. Craft that. And that won't take too terribly long. And then we will see about making a hoverboard of our own. And that would be actually be kind of really good to do. And that way we have that. Alright, so now we have that. So now we have scrap parts. Now, what I want to do, like I said, is do that. And then we'll know that we can actually make one. I've also been looking at some of this other stuff, and there are things that I now understand what I need to do. I had to look at the wiki a lot and see and check other sources. So let's go ahead and make our first very own hoverboard. Let's go ahead and craft this, and then we'll make some other stuff after a little while, probably next time. Sweet. So now we just have our own hoverboard. Yay! All right, that was our very own. I think that's pretty doggone awesome. Okay, one other thing that we probably need to make in here, if we're going to make anything else, is something that I was looking at too to make a bunch of other things. And now I just got to go find it. And it should be here pretty easy is that's a drone base okay i think i had all the parts that i needed because i was looking at it to see what all we needed to do to make it so i just gotta go find where it is and as soon as i do i'll show you what it is there it is right there okay i just missed it went past a little bit so this is the aging facilities this will allow you to age food and materials to mature and so we can do things like this let's go ahead and make this and i'll show you what we can do with this all right so now we have an aging facility so i don't know how to make some of the things but i guess we'll find out so let's just go ahead and let's just put this on our bar wherever the, that went to now let's go see it's not very big so this guy can probably just go inside really easy let's just find a nice place for it that'll be out of the way maybe we'll stick it right here between these two windows how about that huh okay so we can turn it a little bit and right there all right so now we have that now let's open up this aging facility and it's going to show us oh 
all kinds of cool things. Okay, rubber. So bioethanol. What do we need for bioethanol? Okay, it says wheat. So I guess we can make that. Oh, okay, cooking oil. That's where we make the cooking oil. Nice. Wine, vinegar from rice. We don't have any rice. We can't make that yet. Sausage. Ooh, that looks like pretty good food. Um, gunpowder and there's grease, bioethanol and grease. It's bioplastic, sorry. And then grease is animal flesh and then saltpeter. So we've been picking up the uh, our droppings. So we need this to be able to make, I do believe, gunpowder and or something like that because it makes what we need for gunpowder, if I remember correctly. But I'll have to go look. So let's go get some wheat and let's go see if we can make some bioethanol and then we'll make some rubber from that or so I hope. So all I gotta do is remember which of these chests and I think it's in this chest. Okay, we'll take the wheat and let's go put some in here. So that we have that, okay. Now, let's go to the bioethanol, and it takes two wheat. Tell you what, let's do 20. We'll do that. That way we have that, and at two each, I'll take like 40 of them. Okay. Now that we have that, let's go do a couple of more things. I need to get some buckets, so let's go grab some buckets. I'll water the wheat field. We'll harvest that. I just got to find where I put my buckets, because I know I put them in one of these chests. And then we'll do that, and we'll get the bioethanol out and see about some rubber. Something else that I did, too, that I thought was kind of important is I went ahead and I made a whole bunch of these right here. The yellow herbs in the pots. So let's just go ahead and gather up all of this stuff so we have that. And then we'll water all of these things and then we'll have all of them and that's really good. That'll help out a lot. I do have lots of buckets so, you know, that's always good. And we can make buckets. That's ridiculously easy to do. Stand between here. Get a couple of them watered. And we should be able to do this a couple of times over. All right, this is going to be done. We'll water this one more time. As far as I know, it always has a, a bucket there. So then we'll get our bioethanol and we'll turn that into rubber. And then we'll see what else we can do. This guy is going to be done here momentarily. Sweet. Cool, so now we have a lot more of that. Now let's go ahead and water this again. Sweet. Okay, now that we have that, let's go get our bioethanol. Let's go do that. It's making 12 so far, and that's cool. It's going to make 20 all told. How much do we have of the wheat? We have 66 wheat, and I had 88, so I've already gained some back, like 20 or something like that. Oh, and there's also something that I did find out that I thought was actually really, really interesting. So, you see where that says, um, stack stored items? So, if you press Q, anything that you have will automatically go in there for whatever is in that certain chest. Makes it so much easier when you're trying to plant, put things away, and that helps out a lot. So, I do like that part. I think I had that in here. I do believe so. All right. Put the wheat in there. And then we'll put the yellow out here. I did find some more yellow. I was out doing some more fishing. And I'll show you something else that I found that I thought was actually kind of cool. i never seen one before either. Let me put these guys away. And the red herb. Okay. Now, let me show you, and then we'll get out that stuff and hopefully make something. But at least we have the aging facility now, and that's good. In here, I now have a sailfish, which is worth quite a bit, but I still, you know, I want to save at least one, so that way I have that. And a blue turtle, and I don't, didn't know anything about that. And there's one more thing that I found that I meant to show earlier, and I completely forgot. So, there is... 
this. I found a manta ray, so I think that's really awesome. And I don't know if I showed the tuna or not. So we have an eagle ray and a manta ray, and I think that's awesome. I mean, the manta ray is pretty big, as you know. Manta rays are big. Okay, this is almost done. And then we'll have this. Okay. Let's see. All right. So now we have the bioethanol. Now, let's go to here. Let's go to E. So with that, we can put in bioethanol and then we can get rubber. So let's just go ahead and do, I don't know. Well, if we do, we have 20. So if we do 10 maximum, then we'll have 10 of that. Let's go ahead and craft that. It looks like we also have cheese for milk, and we also have cheese for milk. So we have oh, butter for milk and cheese, and then, of course, you know, these other things. And so we're going to work on quite, making quite a bit of this stuff, because I just don't know much about this stuff. So at least we'll have rubber. Once we get the rubber, then we can come back out here, and we can begin doing some things in here. Like we can make the wheels and we can make all kinds of different things engine parts with the ceramic from the glass from the sand and we can perhaps make like a racing car or something like that and even a buggy we can make all kinds of things and i think that would be actually a lot of fun to do some of these things so that we can try some new things so We'll wait for the rubber to get done. I'll get some more wheat, and then we will call this good. Let's go get our rubber now. It should be done. So there we go. The rubber is done. All right. So now we have some rubber. So now we can make butter. We can make all kinds of things, and we can also probably find a, like a higher level cow or anything and capture it and put it in here and then use it to make a whole mess of batteries and then we'll have lots of batteries and we can make all kinds of stuff in here as well and i think that would be really cool as i said i really want to see about making like tires and maybe a you know a motorcycle or even a buggy i think that would be a lot of fun we just need some ceramic we can do that super easy and i was also out gathering iron and copper because i you know figured we we're going to be using this stuff a lot for bolts and everything else so now we have a lot of good stuff going on we have the aging facility we have this uh, battery generator maker we have our machine factory and of course as i said we have the aging facility so this is something we were missing and that's that's now something that we have now we can make a lot of new stuff and make even better stuff as we go and this is gonna make everything so much easier if I would have known that if I would have known what it did I would have tried to make it earlier but I didn't so now I'm gonna be making some more different things like that this is craftopia thank you for joining me here if you enjoyed the episode drop a like on the video and I will talk to you next time you have a great day and I will see you later bye bye